What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to pick up where we left off, we had a massive battle with the Americans in the Straits of Madagascar and I cleared their fleet from the region. And I don't know if it was worth it, because my trade, <laughs> the trade fleet I've built is not making as much money as I would have hoped. But, say Livy, we live and learn. Let's send this... Actually, firstly, let's send these guys... Oh, come on, I hate when the game bugs and you... I'm shift-clicking. Cool. Knock out this little uh, Venetian fleet. Don't care if I lost, lose ships. I lost three ships. <laughs> that was That really wasn't worthwhile. Uh, but yes, just wanted to push the Venetians back because I am at war with Venice now, thanks to uh, me declaring war on the Cherokee. There you go, let's get the unit. No, repair. Then let's bring uh, these Indiamen across. So these are all stuff that's happened last time. The Cherokee got destroyed. Naval raiding. Anastasio Alvarez has done very well. Well, no, not him. The uh, the major, the main fleet did very well. Okay, let's hop back to the Americas. So yes, you're replenishing, and you're not replenishing. Now you're replenishing. Things being repaired, building roads. Cool. You're gaining troops. Um, I fell back from here because I think thought it's just a bit untenable. Then we took Boston, which was very, very handy. And I can recruit lots of cool units, so let's recruit a unit of Fusileros to add into this unit to make them a bit more Mexican. Sí, señor. Right now in this fleet is blockading their single remaining ship in... Where is this? This is in New York. Prussia? Interesting. So eventually I'm going to be at war with Quebec, which is okay, because they have one region, and Quebec's not been super useful for me. Cool, cool, cool. Let's try and make friends with Venice again, even though I've just... Uh, request peace. Yeah, go on. Eight grand for peace. Good. Savoy, let's trade. Oh, Denmark, let's trade. Why do people not want to trade? The Barbary States, even though you're pirates. Oh, nuts. Sweden. Let's have a look at Sweden. Unfriendly. Ah, oh, because they're allied with the US. If I knock the when I knock the US out of the game, they'll no longer be allies, and then we can be allies. That's my master plan. Cool. All right, let's hit end turn. Yeah, pirates up in, in Annapolis. Yeah, the Americans are desperately trying to form a defense because they've kind of left a lot of holes. Opportunity to intercept. Why not? At the very least, it will clear they be able to capture them. Pretty good. But yeah, the Americans have quite convincingly. I have only one regret. I only have only one life to give for my country. Ah, <laughs> execute for treason. Sure, he deserved it. Nah, pesky colonials. <laughs> Oh wow, do I want to fight into the town? To be honest, yeah, let's give it a go. So I want to capture the square. Or do I want to fight in the town? Yeah, I'm going to fight the town make it a bit different. Well, actually, I'm going to form a bit, a bit of a redoubt. So out here, I'll give me my mortars to provide fire support. Um, then I'm also going to have... Two units of, how, of artillery facing that direction, unit of artillery facing that way. And then let's bring a militia out here to guard it. Backed up by my cav, and probably another unit of line. And that's a lot of. I think it'd still be quite fun actually if I did this. And then just kind of went right. Let's let, like you know, just try to fortify the town. Oh no, it wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, so spin 
these guys around in this direction. Run. Unlimber your artillery. Deploy this unit of line here. Back up with this. Because that's where there's a reinforcing American army going to come from. So let me do a bit of fortifying. I'm going to do this. Run them inside the building. Run them up there to cover outside the building. Run these guys back as a bit of a reserve. Unlimber this artillery. Run my militia up here on the flank. Ah oh, no, you're supposed to be limbered up. Let's send my cavalry out here. Oh, my Fusileros. Okay, let's move you up. Oh no, I want to put one unit inside the house. So they've got sending cavalry, sending dragoons around. Yeah, I'd limber up if I was you too. Straight canister shot. Limber up. Unlimber, sorry. Straight canister. Probably want to deploy you out here. They get first shots are being fired. Cavalry running along my front. That's why I blundered a bit in deploying all of my cuirassiers over in that direction. So let's go over there and bring one of them back. Oh, I'm fighting the mercenaries. You go hit the unit of line infantry. Because the cavalry, yeah, the cavalry's, they've hit the cavalry. To be honest, get stuck in. By the looks of it, that's what they're determined to do. So move up my line to take into account. That cavalry is coming to charge me. So my crossiers up there to hit the bowmen. Run my fusiliers back all the way over here because they don't want to do anything over here. Because considering the artillery's left, like because I've been, I've not been using my howitzers very well. Let's pull this unit back to fill in the gaps. Yeah, my cavalry, my artillery routed, which is fair enough. Let's make sure have killed these bows. Then I'll charge them down to these guys and to the pony. Hmm. Apologies, guys. There's some uh, determined to keep popping up and it interferes with my recording. Bring my cuirassiers over here. This is where they're more valuable. So the abs that flank up there is okay to be. I'm okay with losing that because ultimately it's just a. It was just militia up there holding it. It wasn't a. Um, 
particularly powerful unit up there, so I wasn't what I was expecting to lose it. I'm using my Crassiers up there to hold, because I'd like to win this combat out here. Charge into the native mercenaries on my colonial line. So we should win that fight. Well, we got some shots off, but not enough. Put my Crassiers over there to fo deploy my artillery. Deploy my fusiliers to potentially fire into the Crassier combat. There we go, got a local victory. Try kill the general. No, the general's going to make it, I think. There's a line of unit back here. They reform, so get one of my howitzers just to keep shooting at them. Kill their general's bodyguard, that would be lovely. I can't shoot into the back of them, let's throw them in. Hit the rangers. So let's form another battle line up here. So let's get you guys a limber. Basically start trying to pull some of my guys back. You basically let my guys fight for as long as they possibly can. Be wary of that line infantry unit. Maybe somebody in general to try take him out. So there's lots of cavalry, lots of mercenaries, lots of dragoons. Let's be honest, I might send my cavalry to go finish them off. If I can run my howitzers back, that'd be lovely. They've done a right little swarming operation they have here. No, so they just want to carry on. So let's get my cuirassiers out. What do you mean? Let's get my cuirassiers into the mix. Hit that unit of Hessian line. Actually, hit that unit of Colonial Light because they're about to kill my general. If they kill my general, then that will be bad. Kill the general's bodyguard because that'd be great if I could kill their general. Fire into the Hessian line. Oh, I might actually lose this one. Because all of my stuff is routing. Let's get you on the go. you into this combat. Let's get my general into the mix. Hit 
at this unit. This unit of Dragoons and my general. Thankfully they fired into the back of their own units. So let's run these guys out down here, try hit the rear of their unit. Run my cavalry out of the way. Run them over here. Then engage the unit, because then they'll shoot into the back of their own infantry. Go on, make the general's bodyguard route. My general's died. That's not good. My guys are confident and eager, there's a wavering and steady. My guys are waving. Okay, let's get my general in. Let's get my cuirassiers in. Charge them in, then wavering, broken, wavering. Okay, charge my guys in. Unlimber all of my artillery. Turn off, fire at will. Everyone reload. So there's only one unit of artillery, artillery. Pound away! Oh god! God alive, that was tense. I was expecting it to go so much smoother than it actually did. They just charged in. Oh, let's end that. Holy moly. Weesh. Fisher, they just rolled it up. God, so they got to fall back and repair and replenish. Holy moly. I mean, the city's exposed, but I can't afford to fight it. Ooh, the Prussians have turned them back. If the Prussians landed another stack, that would be fascinating if they did take London. And but yeah, that was that was intense. Whew. But it just goes to show if they can get a big clump of men and they can start rolling up a flank, then things can go wrong very, very quickly. They're definitely gonna amphibiously is amphibiously assault me. That's just definitely what's gonna happen. Unless they can get to war with Prussia. There you go, pick up another stack of troops, and then you're going to sail them over to... Oh, was that Copenhagen? No, I think they just took Copenhagen. So if the Swedes go for Prussia, because the Swedes usually want to go for want to go for Copenhagen. Oh, they're taking troops, probably to amphibiously assault uh, Russia. Good, the Venetians are going back. There's no reason for them to fight me. There is unused land God, right. First farms. job, you. Building farms here. Full back. Help the population to grow over time. And Have a new general. He looks pretty good. Then let's recruit up a unit of. We lost the artillery. One unit of guns. Good. And let's do. Oh, sorry about that. Drink gained. A happy drinker. Yeah, good. Nation destroyed Denmark. Trade route raided. Pesky. Right, Americans. Good, good, good. Let's get all the construction on the go. Construction on the go. 
Carolinas have been well, up Louisiana gets metal roads. Good, and you get a good plantation. Good. And the Cherokee. See, I can't build a religious school there either. You, aha. Nope. I have a craft workshop then. What is it with these places? Let me go and put a farm. And good, your infrastructure is being built. Uh, Savannah is 100% Catholic. Let's send them to the Carolinas. They'll do some converting there. My army up here still needs to be replenished. Everything that can be built is being built. Good. Then this next army's next step will be on to Albany. Heroic death, sadly. Oh yes, I can move up and attack Michigan. So let's conduct the assault. Let's get some own back on the United States for that. Devastating, really knackered that army. So it's a good job. So on continental Europe, I've continental the United States. Four stacks, which is pretty good. And then I've got some more fragments floating around. Okay, so let's go. Let's deploy on the left. It's a bit more open. Well, to be honest, there's no... The land for artillery here is not very good. I think it's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deploy artillery here on their, in their, on their front. Guard it. With a militia and a couple of units of line. Then I'm going to use uh, the rest of my line to push their flank. Then let's keep these guys back here. Oh, I forgot a unit of artillery. My frontiersmen can guard the artillery as well. And you are Grandier Regiment, you're going to go over here too. Weak unit of provincial cavalry out. Let's speed up time a bit. I do, I do not care if they charge me. It will not matter one iota. Because they will kill half of the guys there, then my line infantry will march into them, and then that will be that. No, I don't want to advance there. Right, okay, before I get too crazy, let's do not. Before I get too stupid, sorry. Let's advance up. Because I need to fire onto these guys, because they're heading straight for my artillery. It's too many are going up here, actually. Let's do you. You can come up here. Let's go back to my artillery and manually target them. So you go for them, you go for them, you go for something in that block, you also go for something in that block. There we go, battle is joined. Poor unit of Hessian light infantry going to take the brunt of a lot of fire. Let's 
Let's see if I can run these. Oh, you, you, would, you were deploying for a minute. Aha! Marching into the valley of death. Yeah, they've been engaged by a handful of cavalry, but it's not going to really matter. the unit of horse artillery, may as well. That'd be quite a cool unit place to put some light infantry. Yep, being charged by a penny pack of light cavalry, so let them do it. Let's commit my general. Got my how it says to hit that unit. Move everyone up, including my grenadiers. It's a lot of men. I was about to move there. To be honest, just go from. They're being routed back on every other front. Where's my light? Where's my cavalry? I need to get you over here. Rapido! To help. First. Turn off all artillery and just let my general have Adam. Aha! Get my artillery to aim at Continental Marines because now we know how much damage Continental Marines can do. Run. To be honest, with this many troops, I'd like to think they shouldn't be able to make me route. <laughs> Let's get these guys in a position ready to raid the uh, Continental Marines. Oh, the unit of infantry is routed. Well, yeah. Ah, I see. Let's fall you back. Let's make these guys fill in the gap. Caught out. I don't like these guys' odds actually. Oh, come on, if we just find this one spot, there you go. Run them out of dodge. I'm 
No, do not get involved in the combat with Marines. Just leg it. So let's run my light cavalry away. Let's run my colonial light infantry up into a position. Hit them with my colonial light. Then once my colonial lights hit them, go for them with... Aha. Honest. Not much pin them with my cavalry. I know they love a good scrap, but they should still be a bit outnumbered in that one. Surprised they're doing a lot of damage to my troops because they aren't marines after all. So let's just speed it up. There you go. Finish them off <laughs> before they get to the uh, horse spikes, preferably. Hit the native bowman. Oh, let's just end it. Because we've managed to capture Michigan. It's a nice little anchor to have in the North West Territory. Boof. You are mine. Now, but it does invite war with the uh, Huron. Huron Wyandot. Michigan's got a wealthy place, actually, when all these, t all these villages start developing. Good, 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 good. Let's get you replenishing. So if I move you guys, if I move these guys out, will you hate me? Absolutely, you will. Fair enough. It is the ter it is the capital of a major faction, after all. It's not building anything there, and it might provoke them to move. So let's just put these guys ready to sit them there. Then where's the cavalry that's built down here? You get ready up to join them to hit this army that's going to march around and be cheeky little scamp. Good, and they're all being replenished. Good, good, good. Cool. I think it's hit and turn. And a lie. You are offering me nothing, Greece. Who are you fighting against? Sweden and Prussia. I will look at your position next turn to see if I want to fund you to fight my enemies. Because right now I've, I've got cash burning a hole in my pocket and nothing to spend it on. Ah, they've actually gone into one of my ports. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'll recruit a uh, unit of militia in New Andalusia, send them to the port to garrison it, and kick them out. Oh, oh, the Austrians are very strong. Please fight against Prussia. Hmm. Ooh, see, if, Prussia's con if Prussia continues to try to land in Britain, like British Isles, no. Because you're only fighting the Barbary states. And I don't care about the Barbary states because they're not raiding my stuff. So, why would I be bothered? Oh, the, are the Swedes fighting the Prussians then? There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Keep card, yeah. Just keep building. 
Replenishment's good. Tech advancement is good. So you go on to Light Infantry Doctrine. Because I may as well try to get on a machine rifling, I suppose. They've just picked an economic one, so they may as well. Uh, he may as well go for. Oh, is there nothing that's faster than 17 turns? There's mach machine tools. Yeah, do machine tools, I suppose. Fleet arrives. Good. Let's get you into port for repair. And it's the same again up here, I believe. Yeah. Let's see, let's get you into. Let's move his Indian to Cadiz. And then let's move Morris into Porto. Repair and refit. Ooh, and let's make sure we build an army board in Mexico. Which we might just keep Mexico upgraded. Good. Commercial basin is good. Infrastructure. It's all my American territories primarily. Uh, do civil barracks. You've got your steam pump dying mine. Good. Falmouth. You need that. Furs, because furs are the most traded resource. I think is this is my first. Yeah, this is my first exposure to the fur. Uh, to the fur resource. I think. Oh no. Right. Those have been upgraded. Cool. That's going well. That's going well. You are still. Knackered and your artillery is now going to move up to you through the, along the coast. Good, good, good. Recruitment of my new navies ready. Let's add one. Let's add another second rate. Sweet. Um, but I think I might actually call it there. I know I'm slightly under this time, but you guys have been quite fortunate. I had quite a few over the limits uh, recently in my Mexican campaign. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time.